only live in Africa. What is the difference between a frog and a toad? The snakes have bones. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you. Hey guys, I am Sonika. Today I am at NCPA Mumbai for a photography exhibition called Camera for a Cause by my photo group TCP Expeditions. As I show you the different photographs on display, we will also have a little wildlife quiz to test our knowledge about our little animal friends. So let's see how you score. Now, let the wildlife quiz begin. The lustrous white dentin called ivory are actually dash of elephants. A. Upper molars, B. Upper incisors, C. Horns, D. Upper canines. Correct answer B. Upper incisors. Incisors are the front teeth present in most mammals. The elephant's incisors grow into tusks which can serve as weapons and as tools for moving objects and digging. Ivory trade is one of the biggest threats to elephant populations. Question 2. The official global estimate of wild tiger population is A. 1000 to 2000 B. 3 to 4000 C. 9 to 10,000 D. 5 to 600 Correct answer B. 3 to 4,000. As of 2015, the global wild tiger population was estimated between 3,062 and 3,948, down from around 1 lakh at the start of the 20th century. Major reasons for population decline include habitat destruction, habitat fragmentation, loss of prey and poaching. Question 3. Snakes have evolved from and are relatives of A. Lizards B. Eels C. Earthworms D. Snails Correct answer A. Lizards There is fossil evidence to suggest that snakes may have evolved from burrowing lizards. Legless lizards resemble snakes, but several common groups of legless lizards have eyelids and external ears, which snakes lack. Question 4. Asiatic lions can be found today in A. Sukma Wit Forest, Thailand B. Itosha National Park, Namibia C. Gir Forest, India D. All of the above Correct answer C. Gir Forest, India. The lion prefers grassy plains and savannas, shrub bordering rivers, and open woodlands with bushes. It is absent from rainforests and rarely enters closed forests. The last live Asiatic lion in Iran was sighted in 1942. Thereafter, there are no sightings of the lion in Iran. Question 5. How do flamingos obtain their bright pink colors? A. Through direct sunlight. B. Aqueous bacteria and beta carotene from their food. C. Salts in the water. D. All of the above. Correct answer B. Aqueous bacteria and beta carotene. That is why a well-fed and healthy flamingo is more vibrantly colored than a white or pale one. 
American flamingos are a brighter red color because of the beta carotene availability in their food while the lesser flamingos are a paler pink due to a lack of this pigment did you get 5 out of 5 congratulations if you did if you didn't don't worry as we have more questions coming up then we had a seminar on macro photography by expert photographer yuvraj gurjar Initially, we used to have only 36 exposure. We have to use a single ISO roll. Whether we have put a 100 ISO roll, so we have to click 36 exposure with 100 exposure only. Or if we have put uh, install a 400 ISO film speed uh, roll, so we have to follow that for 36 exposure. Now you shoot with 50 ISO at the same time. If it is evening time or very early morning, you shoot it with 3,200 ISO. You can go up to 8,000 ISO also. because these days your digital camera equipped so much good iso handling so you get good results so when when we are going in the forest basically we have to search for the smaller this fauna in forest then we have to do all our light setting our camera setting and then then we are shooting this beautiful uh, creatures uh this is again clicked in uh, you uh, sanjay gandhi national park uh, one beautiful moth with a spread wings here particularly i am showing this image because you can see the composition you can see the curled grass leaf and then the uh, creamy green background so sometimes you have to see apart from your object also so here your main object is that moth but you have to see the composition you have to see the lighting you have to see the background also at the same time you have to retain the clarity the sharpness or focus of your main subject that is moth here so you have to keep aperture or depth of field sufficient to give prominence to your main subject black and white you can convert your photo on photographs or you can click photographs in black and white also nature is colorful but why not even you have seen here some photographs are particularly presented as a black and white so black and white is a altogether different ball game a different only shades of black and white so you have to just render the your image such a way that it will create a impact on you so here also same same tiny butterfly on a grass flowers with the dew drops so particularly converted afterwards in black and white so you can present your work black and white also which gives you a different kind of look. next uh this is uh, scorpion all scorpions glow in ultraviolet light so if there are a specific torch which emits ultraviolet light so all scorpion is glow in the night so this was clipped in goa uh, again we have to capture that glow so we have to capture in high iso with low aperture because you have to capture that ambient light of ultraviolet so if you fire a flash here it will give you a normal photo so here you have to capture that torch light which is very minute so you have to boost your iso you have to keep your shutter speed longer or you have to do put your camera on the tripod whatever the way you you want next similar one uh, centipede was glowing in ultraviolet light this was clicked in kaziranga national park when well, you can imagine the angle this was clicked in dcb or nasik macro photography workshop the snake was in between my leg i want a proper top angle a proper top angle of hood and a fork down so because all cobras are predictable if they are, if there is a movement in the front so they will attack them but they will attack they will not attack sideways so i was knowing this so that's why that cobra was in between my legs and i i able to capture this frame question 6 Rhinos are native to Africa and Asia. How many species of rhinos are still alive? A 2, B 3, C 4, D 5. Correct answer D 5. Out of the 5 species, 2 are native to Africa and 3 to southern Asia. They are white rhinoceros and black rhinoceros found in Africa. Indian rhinoceros in the Indian subcontinent, Javan rhinoceros in Java, Indonesia, and Sumatran rhinoceros found at very high altitudes in Sumatra. Question seven: The largest butterfly in India is a blue oak leaf, 
बी ब्लू मोरमोन सी सदर्न बर्डविंग डी लार्ज ग्रास ब्लू करेक्ट आंसर सी सदर्न बर्डविंग With a wingspan of 140 to 190 mm, the southern birdwing is the largest butterfly in India. It is more common in the Western Ghats. It is the state butterfly of Karnataka and Kerala. Question eight: Dolphins communicate by a dorsal fin movements, b talking, c whistling, d flapping. Correct answer C whistling. Dolphins communicate using a variety of clicks, whistle-like sounds and other vocalizations. They also use non-verbal communication by means of touch and posturing. They are often regarded as one of earth's most intelligent animals. So cute. Question 9. What color are cheetah cubs? A gray B tan C white D black Correct answer A gray Cheetahs don't develop their distinctive spotted tan coats until later in life In fact cubs have gray fur until they are about 3 months old Juvenile cats also have a short mane Question 10 How do frogs get their water and oxygen A through their gills B by drinking C through their skin D by breathing Correct answer C through their skin Like other amphibians oxygen can pass through the highly permeable skins of frogs This unique feature allows them to remain in places without access to the air respiring through their skins. In polluted water, the toxic substances have a high chance of entering the frog's bloodstream. It is one of the leading causes of decline in frog population. Did you get 10 out of 10? Hats off if you did. Let me know your score down below guys. And the score is not important. What's important was you guys played this quiz and got to know more about our amazing animal friends. Seeing all these pictures and attending this exhibition makes me wanna visit these places, meet our animal friends, photograph them and make a vlog about them. Nature is beautiful. But our animal friends require care and preservation as their numbers deplete. So we have to hold such exhibitions so that Uh, awareness can be raised about our animal friends and efforts can be made to preserve them the proceeds from today's exhibition are going to go to wildlife conservation trust which works towards preserving our rich natural heritage so guys the purpose of this quiz style vlog was to make you guys know more about our wildlife only if you know more about it will you ever care about preserving it so guys if you like this vlog Please give me a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about which is your favorite animal or place with animals in your city. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I am on YouTube. Here is my previous vlog. Please go check it out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos every Wednesday on my channel. Bye.